We have some breaking news of another Democrat joining the call for President Biden to yeah. step away from the race. That's correct. Forgive me for looking down. I'm reading the article that just dropped. So in the Detroit News, um, obviously her, her local paper, West Michigan Democratic Congresswoman Hillary Shulton has now called on President Biden to step aside. That puts our current number at at least 10. I'm also looking at a very critical tweet of President Biden from Congressman Richie Torres, who has kind of gone back and forth as to whether or not he believes the president should step aside. I don't necessarily see in this tweet that he calls on Biden to step aside. So I think Shulton is our latest. But point being is we do have a little bit of breaking news. Uh, we have one more House Democrat, at least one more House Democrat, who has now called on President Biden to step aside. So the total number is now 10 House Democrats at least. And then, of course, one senator who have now called on Biden to no longer be the Democratic nominee, Diane. And Mary Alice, how is the White House responding to this? Any sense of the conversations behind closed doors? How does the president recover from this, even if he is insistent on staying in the race? Uh, for days, the White House and the campaign uh, sort of worked hard to belittle and sort of downplay uh, these sort of defections in the Democratic Party. They went as far, uh, the campaign went as far as to sort of mock some of these House members as, as sort of no names and, and um, uh, low ranking. Uh, that, of course, is getting harder with every additional one. You know, Michigan obviously stands out to me. Um, the fact that that congresswoman is from Michigan, Michigan is a must win state for President Biden. And the reality is, we have seen these concerns. For from members across the country and really across uh, sort of the spectrum of the Democratic Party, uh, some that are from safe seats, some that are from uh, much more vulnerable seats. Uh, so it, it tells me that it's not just one type of Democrat, not just one sort of political predicament that is leading people to sort of make this call, make this judgment call. And of course, that's why it was such a big deal overnight when we saw the first U.S. senator to come out and also say that he thought the president should step aside. Obviously, the president uh, was, was a senator for so long. He considers the Senate sort of his home, his stomping ground, his close colleagues. But also, obviously, each of those senators brings with them more, more gravitas, more of a role in fundraising for the party, running their own state Democratic parties. Uh, so if, if this trickle becomes a flood, that will continue to be something this White House will not be able to avoid. All right, Mary Alice Parks, Jay O'Brien, Catherine Falders, thank you.